Hello and welcome to New Map First Day Lowry Part 2. Let's get on with it. Too long before we get back down to the farm. Just managed to get the harvester going again after its first full load. I think at the moment that's been my biggest little problem, although I have neglected it a little bit with the trips that we've been doing around the map, is that um, the harvester only has a, well, just under 10,000 litre capacity, or 10,000 litre capacity more than likely. So I feel that's probably a little bit small and will need to be upgraded once you get further into the game and have made a bit of money. In the meantime, it can still be worked with. It's not a real problem. Right, slow down and we'll go right here and that should take us back down to the farm. Yeah, I think it's in that clump of trees on the, on the left hand side there. So I see a little yellow dot on the map down at the bottom there. Wonder what that is. Going to go and have a quick look. Tell you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get this this going, and then I'll take a little jog on down there. Give us a chance. We'll go for a little walk along the river. <laughs> um, wonder if I can get. No. I, yeah, I can get to fuel 23. Oh, I want to do, have a look at this signpost before I go. Anyway, further, let's have a look and see what this says. Might give us some more. Warning! That small sign with the hand on is not me waving at you, it's telling you to stop. Turn around and leave. Entering my property without an official appointment means you are stalking and have now become one of those people we normally want to see get locked up. Go home and if I want to meet with you I'll give you a call. It sounds about right for a farmer to me. <laughs> oh dear. It's nice little uh, humor quirks around the map. I like that. Not something you often see. We might as well just go across the river here. I think we could have got to it from the bottom. Try not to crash into the... Oh, it's not giving us... Yeah, I just nicked that... Um, had a trailer the last time I came down here. We'll put this onto a onto a worker as well. And then we'll go and have an investigation of that little yellow dot on the map there. I'm not quite just wondering if that's got anything to do with our getting to Skull Island. So I'm in a bit of a quandary as to whether I should buy Skull Island. I Skull Island. I think it might be a bit of a, um, a spoiler. So we'll just have a look at that first of all and then I might just do it and just chapter off it as a spoiler if I do manage to work out during the course of this first day how to deal with it. Alright, where are we going now? We wanted to put this onto a worker. So we can do course play, create a job, course play, field work first. That seems good. Let's do two headlands and we'll generate 
18 meters, that's right, because we put the extensions on. Generate the course. Yeah, that's generated. And close it. Get the job started. There we go. Yeah, so slightly unusually shaped field, but uh, nice and big. It's probably going to have to fill that up a couple of times. But let's get out and go and have a run around. A little walk down the river, let's put it that way. Go for our morning jog. I suppose we should check up to see if the uh, if the harvester is still harvesting. We'll have a look and see if we get when we get down to the bottom of this field. If uh, we might have to go for another little swim across the river. These two fields are pretty large, it covers quite a big area. Still haven't seen the harvester doing its first lap. Well, as I said, we were pretty negligent. Before we go across, it's just over there somewhere. Uh, it's just over there. yeah, it is full. That it's, it's hardly gone. That is a bit of a conundrum. It's not as if it's gone very far before it needs to be emptied again. But that is what we have to work with, and that's what we need to work with. Oops, took that a little bit too sharply. Might fill, it might fill this first section up of the trailer. Not sure how much each section takes. We'll soon find out. It's 84% full, so... Cross here and then let's get through. Yeah, well, let's just go for a swim across the river and then have a look and see what we can find here. So, this is little hut thing here. Does this open? Yes, indeed. And what do we find here? Uh, oh, it's a collectible. One million. Wow. If 
around all the cartridges. <laughs> oh dear. So we're going to have to put that on as a as a big 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 um, spoiler spoiler alert. I might even leave it off. Yeah, that is found without having to go to Skull Island. Oh my goodness. I'm in shock. Right, the harvest I can see is full again. So we will go and get that loaded up and then we'll go and check up on the on the liming. I suppose Skull Island did lead me to that. Here we are. Let's get this going. Yeah, so So being a big map there's a lot of things to do to start off with on the first day so we've got this field to harvest there's another wheat field to harvest uh, there's no corn to harvest so we'll probably see if we can plant corn in the top field so that's what I would try and do um, so let's get that go let's get that so we're 50% full the last one must hold quite a bit Right, let's go and have a look at the oh, so that is actually refilling I'll leave I'll leave that for now I normally switch that off it's obviously refilling as it it's, it's a very expensive way of doing it but um, because we spend so much time traveling I'm going to leave it for this for this episode. So let's get a planter going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some some buy stations on the farm just because fields are so big and to keep replenishing and to travel that far to replenish is probably not going to make sense so I think we can do a seed um, that's not what we want to do, we want to do this let's go and have a look at containers so we can do fuel uh, liquid fertilizer could certainly do okay this is for seeds I think and the ideal spot for me to put this I think is at the back here with the integrated into our silage system here so if we put that somewhere there so let's seed 
and then we'll also do um, fertilizer tank. Put the fertilizer tank that way. Yeah. And shall we do a liquid fertilizer? I could put the liquid fertilizer down this side here. I wonder if it'll take a herbicide as well. So let's go and start filling up. So we haven't got um, precision farming on, so we will have to. We would have. We would, if we went on further with this with this map, we would have to um, most probably fertilize a second time. So that's kind of why I put that in there. We did get the extra money from finding, from solving the Skull Island episode. I'm not going to talk too much further about that because I don't want to give away too much. The refill silo, so we can refill it, fill it with seeds. Uh, Twenty-seven thousand liters. It's a reasonable price for seed. So let's leave it at that for now. And we need to refill fertilizer. So we can only do solid fertilizer in here. 50,000 liters. So 176 per thousand liters. It's a pretty good price. Got the money, we might as well put in some decent amount. Decent amounts. This is the one I was hoping that there might be herbicide in here as well. No, just liquid fertilizer. We'll just buy 50,000 of that as well. Yeah, so herbicide we don't have. Right, where are we now? We need to get some seed and some fertilizer. We can go and start seeding that field that we're busy liming. Why is that not filling? Myself stuck now. I do not understand why it does not. Oh, maybe I've got it on. I think that. Oh, got myself in a bit of a state here. Silo is empty, so, so we didn't actually buy it. <laughs> That's why. Uh, seeds. Buy seeds, yes. Gotta say yes to these things, you know. There we go. 3,000. And... Slightly more fertilizer. It's 
That's good. And we'll go and start doing the seeding. Let's see what we can plant. Where we're now in August. I'm hoping we can put some corn in there. Because that's a, what I would do to try and get the have a look at the corn drying operation. Let's see. Uh, let's have a look and see what we can plant. Corn. No, all we can plant is canola at the moment. We can plant some wheat in September. So let's let's do some canola. Let's. Let's get this going and we can. I think before we do that, let's go and see. We're probably going to have to refill, or oh, re refill, re empty, empty the harvester. We've got twenty six thousand liters off this field, and we have just done a full lap. Well, not quite just. So this field looked after properly is going to yield certainly a lot of wheat because this was only at 38% yield so I think the, the farm as it is as you start it start with what you start with is probably going to keep you busy for some time before you're going to need to buy other fields got three fields so you can spread it around a little bit oh, that's not what I want to do so try and stop it doesn't it's not long enough for that so we're going to have to buy something, a chaser of some sort, and another tractor. So it's looking like you have to So we can do this. We can do this with a um, because we've got that extra money. So we'll buy a another tractor, something of reasonable horsepower. I don't want it to be quite nimble, so we'll buy a class. That's 276. We'll get the horsepower up so we can use it for other things as well. And we'll buy that. And then we'll buy a... Auger wagon something that can take a decent amount it takes 77,000 so I think we'll try that one how much horsepower? 400 horsepower yeah we've got enough and crawler track tires so we're going to put tires on them And we'll buy that. And we'll nip up to the farm, uh, to, to the shop. Go and pick that up and 
and we'll head on back down to the Yeah, so my advice would be to try and solve the Skull Island thing first so that you can buy this little bit of extra equipment because you, we don't have any other trailers, do we? I didn't check that, I should have checked that first No, that's the only trailer we've got so yeah, you do have to make I suppose you could just buy a trailer and use the use the other tractor but yeah seen as we <laughs> seen as we found that uh, that little bit of treasure and that may have been by design that they have that treasure and because they do give the first clue right outside the the house so at least I would say by the second day after your first sleep you would have noticed that little um, clue to go to Skull Island. But I wouldn't have, f well, yeah, stopped, uh, I've got to stop talking about it. It's a, uh, it's a big, it's a big spoiler. I think I'm going to have a look as we come back here with this to see if we can uh, um, well I'm, I'm pretty sure we can access the fields from this road that's not the field we want to work on that's the field we've already that's, that's not from this road it's from around I think it's from this road just coming up here towards it going off to the left so it would have been quicker to go through the farm I think these are things to find out No, we can't cross the, to go to that field. Or can we? Can we? We might be able to. Which way does the river go? Does it go under the road here? Or... Yeah, we can. Only just, but we can. Where are we? I think we're right down at the other end of the the map, aren't we? Yep. Let's see if we can turn this around without going in the water. Yep. This little class looks pretty small on this thing. <laughs> So this is this is exactly what um, what the series is supposed to be about. It's about finding the little things that uh, that you may need to um, look at on the first day on the map, as well as looking around the map and getting a feel for everything. And Right, so I may have to pull the truck forward.
So I'm feeling with this uh, auger wagon, because this field is so close to the field, we don't really need the, the grain truck. We can take it back to the farm and uh, because this has got such a big capacity, we can we can use it straight away. When I say we can use it, so we can deliver straight to the farm. Hmm. This also will not reach. Can we get a little bit closer in? This is a this is a bit of a problem, so we the is actually too big for the well the the auger is not long enough to be able to do a decent chase job. We can, we can. Just very specific where it is. Uh, yeah, definitely have to trade in the the harvester as well. Something slightly bigger. Really struggling, really struggling with the length of the auger pipe on this. And if you can stop it and then. That should really be floating there. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to jump in here. We'll have to dismiss the worker. Uh, climb back in, put the pipe out. So yeah, definitely the harvester is too small for the for the header. So we will get this emptied. And then we will trade in the Trade in the the harvester. Let's see if we can get another one. Once again, it's lucky that we found the treasure. So, given that we're having this problem. We've now finished So this field comes all the way back up to the Yeah, of course it does. Of 
course it does. I was going to say it comes all the way back up to the to the Lowry town area or settlement area. So that's really good. Yeah, you can see the undulations on the field that I was talking about earlier on. And I think that makes all the difference to the character of the map. And I think that's what sets this map as an American map aside or, or makes it different to a lot of other American maps and puts it squarely in the in the realms to start off with of an Alma, Missouri which is one of my personal favorite maps so let's get this on here and then we'll set to work on this what I am going to do now is I am going to just change the the um, this from by to off I did cheat a bit with the with the lime but yeah there we go and we'll get course play on this. Create a job and first waypoint field work. Yeah, why? We'll do two headlands, generate. Perfect. Why? And start the job. Oh, we can't plant this at the moment. Uh, dear. Uh, we did look at that earlier on. Oh, we got waylaid. Um, what are we doing now? Canola. There we go. I'll just go back there. Hey, create a job. And I'll generate it again. I don't think we really need to do that. I think we could have just set nearest waypoint there. And start a job. There we go. So we put in canola in there. Let's check it out. Yeah. Doing its job nicely. It's afternoon sun, so we'll get it from this side. Perfect. Right, so let's go and buy our. Let's go and see what we can do with our harvester. So we need something a bit bigger. Three hundred thousand. We got three hundred thirteen thousand. So I think we'll change it for the. How much will we get back for it? Let's first trade the other one in. Let's get a trade in on our harvester. 200,000. So, yeah, we'll sell that back to them. Okay, that gives us 523. Um, let's go back and have a look at the harvesters. Don't think we'll be able to go for the really big one. Five hundred and fifty thousand, so we won't be able to afford that. 
across uh, 300,000, what's that one at? Still not huge capacities. This one here is 449 horsepower. That's what we had. Twelve thousand four hundred and five four hundred and fifty one horsepower. We'll go one up on that, we'll get the it should still take the header, so it's no problem with that. And I think that's got a nice long. Auger pipe. Well, I certainly hope so. I think we can just take a shortcut through the field here. So it gives us a chance to see the, uh, the John Deere working nicely with the the seeding of the canola. I do want to try and get some of that. Uh, we'll try and get once we've got this going. We will try and get the grain in the grain mill sold at the train station. Perhaps we can get the train to come and collect it. Here we go. Just want to see if that uh, unfolds. See how that pipe works. Yeah, that's better. And let's just reset that and get it going. What am I doing here? There we go down there and create a job. Nearest waypoint and start. Okay, well, I should have realized that. It's a let's start again. Create a job and coursework. And two headlands is what we were doing, wasn't it? Yeah. And why? Actually, we have to start again. Because we don't want to put it at first waypoint, we want to put it nearest waypoint because of the new machine. Nearest waypoint generate there we go and close that start it 
Okay, that's perfect. Right. So that's another job done for that. So let's go and get this delivered. So we'll do this properly, we'll go through the farm. And we'll go and deliver it up to the train station. shouldn't take too long to get to the train station. Okay, off we go to the train station. This will most probably be close to our last action for day one. Although we still got quite a bit of sunlight, we might just keep going until we lose the sunlight. It'll be a slightly longer episode. Well, there's been a lot to get through on this map in one day. Or one month, whichever way you want to look at it, but call it one day. Not too far to go, and we'll see you when we get to the to the train station. Well, we're just about at the train station. You can see it up in the distance there. Got to just negotiate this rather busy road. Good. Yeah, we can go straight through after this red one. Right, let's get that offloaded. What, what do we do? I just want to do. Zoom in a little bit as we go into the delivery area. Right. Uh, Side front. Why are we not? Delivering. Just need to go a bit further forward. Tip side front, so we've got front and middle. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? So I wonder if we go to one of the others, if it'll... Oh dear, 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 dear.
Yeah, we can deliver wheat there. Let's just go and check the grain mill, see if we can deliver wheat there. It's a bit of a problem. It probably needs to be sorted out. Going over those train lines. Yeah, we can deliver wheat there. What we'll do is we'll just go back once more and go and have a look at the train station and see if we can deliver. So we know that the trader will deliver. We know that it, we can deliver at the... Oh. At the grain mill we can deliver at the... Or maybe it doesn't take wheat at that point. Maybe the wheat needs to go in this top one here because I do see that there is a so let's let's just see that we'll, we, we'll try one more time just going through the maybe grains actually need to go in here and other crops go in down the bottom let's just see if we go this normally will tell you we want to deliver to to Glenwood. Where does that show up? Yeah, so that's where it goes off the map. If we wanted to deliver to the grain mill, we know the grain cell point. Let's take that. That is behind us there. And if we want to go to the silo system, which I think is going to be the one down at the bottom there. Silo system. That must be on the farm. Can't see where that is. I thought this was the silo system down here. Train station silo system, I'm not sure. Yeah, silo system is down there at the farm. You can see the green beacon coming up there. Yeah, so there's no way... There's none of those places where you can de deliver wheat here. What a mess up. Trying to get in there. <laughs> yeah, nothing coming up here. Okay, so that's interesting. We'll just go and deliver it. What does it say this is called? It doesn't say at all. Yeah, not sure. Maybe you have to summon the train first or not sure. In any case, that doesn't seem to be working for me for one reason or another. 
That's probably my fault. It's probably something I should have read or should have taken note of. So we'll just deliver this here and deliver this nice and easily. No problem. And Tip side, middle, I think we've got a smidgen in the back. Back, there we go. Right, well, at least we got that delivered. Let's go back and go and collect some more. We'll get back to the farm and then we'll go and uh, deal with the With the harvest, which is probably full after that little surgeon to the train station, which for me didn't work. But we'll just park this up here for now. And we'll go and offload the harvester. And we should be able to chase alongside it now. With the new harvester and the longer auger. Yep, there we go. That's better. Much more comfortable harvesting this way now. Don't get too far ahead. too close either. <laughs> yeah, so the change of harvester has created a little bit of a mismatch on the On the field we'll have to go back well it probably won't be have time to do it in this first day but we'll have to tidy up quite a bit of this field with the after the course play hmm. why is it turning around there see it hasn't done that second In any event, we'll, it will get the bulk of it done, I think, just before it gets too dark. We will nip on back to the farm with this, and just go and put that into the silo. I see what's happened, it's because we it didn't, it registered as if it had already done the second lap. We asked it to do two headlands, but it, because of where we started it. So yeah, that's the price we pay for going to go and buy a new
a new harvester is what I sh should have said there. I was just looking, I couldn't see where the, where the auger was, but I think it's on the left hand side here. Another 28,000 litres in here. We'll just pop that in there and see what happens. We should still be seeding. Yeah, we are still seeding at the top there. Pipe out. And we should theoretically be able to deliver her. Yep, we can do. That's brilliant. Sunset looking fantastic. Pinners of the map, fantastic. One little problem, probably my fault, I'll need to think about it, um, so that I couldn't deliver to the train station. The other... Was there anything else? No, there was nothing else really that bothered me. Oh yes, the other thing is that I felt that the, the John Deere harvester that comes with the starting equipment is a bit too small for the other equipment that we have so you have to make adjustments for that um, that's not necessarily a criticism that's just something that you need to work out as you go along how you're going to handle that situation it's the things that I really like about the map is that it's a nice big American map and although it is generally flat the fields all have nice undulations in them and giving you the feeling of sort of proper land and not just a one one plain field if you want to call it like that it, call it that it's um it's got ups and downs in the fields and i think that is fantastic see our harvest is full so that's something that would have to have been dealt with um I think you can have a lot of fun on this map. I think you can do a lot of things. I think it's up there with the American maps. It's certainly up there with Alma. If you, anybody saw my Alma, Missouri series, that was also a Salabuki map, and you can you can definitely see Salabuki's influence on this map. So for me. A top map. Top top map. It's a pity it's only got a month or so before we change over to FS25 and it's probably won't get the the justice done to it for those of us who are going to immediately jump onto FS25. I would love to have done another little series on this this map. It's that good. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.